Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa. And I wanted to make, I felt prompted to make this video, which is basically going to just be a pep talk. And of course in the um, series and in this course, we're going to learn how to give ourselves pep talks, which is a very, very important aspect of this work and this modality. But I want to start releasing some material that can be either used as self-talk or meditations, or they can be resources that you can turn to again and again when times get hard, if and when times get hard. Because as we know, ladies and gentlemen, from great authors like Neville Goddard, you see, when we bring about a state of circumstances into our lives that we want, and we actually create that in the spiritual, and then manifest it in the spiritual, or rather, we create it in the spiritual and manifest it in the physical, that brings about a totally new set of circumstances and it creates imbalances and deficits in other places that then we have to solve again interiorly and manifest on the exterior. This is simply the mode of reality that we're in. It's the way reality works, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a good thing that it works that way. Because if everything was done and perfect, there would be nothing called life. There would be nothing called movement because life is by definition growth and movement. There is no static state in this reality or indeed in any other uh, dimension or reality for there cannot be. It's why you came, ladies and gentlemen, so you will always have a set of circumstances that is calling you to become more, that is calling you to vibrationally align with what you do want. Because as Abraham Hicks says, when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And as also as Abraham Hicks says, you, will ne you can never get it wrong because you'll never get it done. And I was talking to two clients today uh, two of them are in what could be perceived on the outer as negative situations. And one of them is in a great amount of debt and is on the verge, it seems like I'm physical, of losing their business. So, of course, I'm going specifically into what my clients can do. And I'm, I'm starting to open myself on the Real Javier Novo channel on YouTube to consultation and coaching calls. We'll be announcing that modality very soon. But I wanted to give this pep talk, and it's going to be based upon Bashar saying, state of, or circumstances do not matter, only state of being matters. Circumstances do not matter. What I need you to do is I need you to stop looking at your circumstances. Stop focusing on your environment. Stop allowing your exterior environment to force you into thoughts and force you into emotions which then attract more of that. You have to disconnect yourselves from the exterior environment for a little while, ladies and gentlemen, because as Joe Dispenza said, what's going on now speaks nothing of your future. It's only if you allow it to speak of your future. It's like the great philosopher Alan Watts spoke about when he spoke about the wake of the boat does not direct the boat towards its trajectory. The trajectory is something that is happening within the boat. But if you look at the wake that the boat's creating, and then you deduce from that that that's going to be your trajectory, it will indeed be your trajectory. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the way we attract circumstances into our lives on the outer is through the inner. And what we believe and what we assume is the case, is the case. The outer is only a mirror. And I know that we all know this, but we need to constantly be reminded of that. So what does this mean? I don't care if you're a million dollars in debt. I don't care if you just lost your business. I don't care if you lost your house. And I'm not trying to be insensitive here. What I'm trying to do is light a fire under you metaphorically and wake you up to your power. Your power has nothing to do with the exterior. The past has nothing to do with the future or indeed the present. You can change your life in an instant and you can do it by going within, 
knowing who you really are, which is your divinity, and then abiding in that and simply allowing the exterior circumstances to take form and to take mold according to what you have going on vibrationally in the interior. I don't care if you're a, a specific person or SP is married to someone else right now. I've had questions now about SPs and I've hesitated uh, in getting into this uh, modality of SP, but I will start talking about it because I indeed have a story where I manifested that. And I'm now married to my specific person. But I don't care if that person is married. The only thing that can happen in the exterior is what you are vibrating out in the interior. And you can change your interior and you can do it very quickly. Now we go into this course where we don't recommend making effort to changing beliefs, but there are certain core beliefs, certain beliefs that have a great impact and keep showing up over and over again in your life that we're going to teach you to change. But what I really want us to focus on this week is self-talk, getting into that state of neutrality and into that state of alpha, talking to ourselves and soothing ourselves and relief. Because Neville Goddard, when asked, what is the emotion that you feel when you know that the imaginal act is done? And he said, it's a feeling of relief. If you can just get yourself to a feeling of relief, then you can get yourself to anything that you want on the exterior film roll. And ladies and gentlemen, these circumstances and situations pass very quickly. And I have many testimonials and stories about that. And perhaps we'll make some videos about this. I don't care if your boss hates you. I don't care if your employer just said that they were going to fire you. You can change that situation. Indeed, you can have that employer transferred away. As I have three personal stories about this, both working for someone and in business for myself, where I was involved with people with, for, for whom for whatever reason, according to my beliefs, we had friction and this person was making my life on the exterior miserable and I was within a few weeks able to get that person transferred out. Totally within the interior. And we can go into more videos about how to do that. But right now, I want you to stand in presence in the knowing of who you are. You are the creator of your own reality. There is no one else who can create your reality. Is anyone else greater than God? As the Psalm says, if God be with me, who can be against me? And ladies and gentlemen, is there another existence in the ultimate besides God? That I ask you and I ask you to contemplate upon that. I want you to contemplate upon I am because I am is the only statement that can absolutely be free of doubt. You are, you are unconditioned consciousness and everything that's happening is within you. As Joel Goldsmith said, the food, the drink, the relationships, everything that you want is within you. And it's a category called context. If you watch my video on the scale of being, and we're going to be making another video about this. Your whole context is completely non-physical. It's completely spiritual. It's completely based upon assumption and will. It's your will and the will of the supposed other and how that relates. And you can recreate that structure within you, ladies and gentlemen. And you don't have to change beliefs because higher than beliefs is that personality, is that context, is spirit and belief is simply a reflection of everything else above it on the scale of being. So once you make contact with your true divinity and with who you truly are, your beliefs and thoughts and self-talk will automatically follow. So stop paying attention to external circumstances. I know it's difficult, but ladies and gentlemen, how old are we? I know things are hard, but we do them. It's hard to wake up in the morning and go to work, but we do it. Even though when we learn this modality, we'll realize that we don't even have to work. 
And of course, that's a whole other topic because whatever is called work on the outer will simply flow through you when you get into flow. But I just want to clear these emotional and negative blocks. And that stems from looking at your reality and continually seeking confirmation on your reality, from your reality. The Stoics and the ancient philosophers knew that when the archer is aiming for a target, he should not make the end all and be all the target. The target is part of the whole structure of the modality. But the true aim or the true goal is the changing of the self interiorly to become the archer and then everything else on the outer takes care of itself. So yes, you must take measurement and business, you must have goals and metrics, but do not solely focus on the metrics. You focus on what you can do and you can do everything in the interior. You can redesign scenes. That's why Neville Goddard talked about revision. Every night before you go to sleep, I want you to revise your day. If anything happened to you during the day that you don't like, or indeed you didn't take actions during the day that you thought that you could, should take, uh, both interior and exterior, simply recreate that and imagine it as if you did it. And I don't care how you feel. I don't care if your body is telling you, no, this is not true. Because the more you continually repeat that, it's called mental rehearsal. The more you rehearse it, ladies and gentlemen, your beliefs will follow. I want you to do that. I want you to imagine every morning, even before you get out of bed, a few scenes that have gone your way. And at the end of the day, I want you to revise. I want you to get into the best vibration that you can earliest in the morning so that that wave of momentum will start carrying you. And then what I want you to do for the rest of the day as you go about your normal routine, because you're at that point you're under compulsion, whatever you set up before you went to sleep and after you woke up, you are now simply following that mechanically. So I just want you to have fun and be present. Even when the negative emotions come up, I want you to enjoy those. I want you to observe those and say, you know what? I'm glad to be having these negative emotions because I came to experience that. And then you can get rid of the thought because it'll dissolve. You don't try to get rid of it, but it will dissolve. And then focus simply on the physical sensation. And you can even indeed enjoy that sensation. Say, look, here's a negative emotion. My chest is tightening up. And very soon, within two minutes, that'll be gone. I want you to make flow, as uh, the great uh, YouTuber Joseph Rodriguez said, he said, I want you to make flow a priority. I want you to make flow and getting into state and being in positive emotions a priority. And stop focusing on the outer. Because we've been doing this for too long, ladies and gentlemen. I know you've been doing this for a long time and I've been doing this for a long time. I've been focusing on this for a long time. It's time to start getting results. And the only way to start getting results is start giving them to yourself in the inner. So if you want wealth and health and wisdom and fame, those are all beautiful intentions. You have to give it to yourself first before the world will give it to you. And indeed, there's no world outside of you to give it to you. So you need to start embodying the feeling, start assuming that modality of whatever it is you want to create. Get a very clear picture of what you want. Get a very clear picture of what that feels like. And then throughout the day, mentally rehearse that. Athletes do that. What you can do is you can sit down and you can put on some music. And you can imagine scenes that will get you into that um, modality. But you can also simply get the feeling. There's an, a scientific institute in California called the Heart Math Institute. And they teach us a special form of meditation where you breathe through your heart and then you, you evoke a feeling in your heart. This feeling could be anything you want. It could be excitement. It could be passion. It could be love. And they practice this feeling and they emanate it out to the universe and they practice it so much, they've measured this scientifically that these practitioners can evoke a feeling or an emotion at will. I want you to get so good at feeling your wish fulfilled and feeling your intention that you can evoke that feeling 
at an instant while your eyes are open and while you're doing your uh, normal everyday tasks. Then it's going to become your normal everyday. Then you're not going to be surprised when it starts coming into your experience in the physical. But that's not the reason why you're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. You're doing it because you love it. So I want to light a fire under you metaphorically today to stop looking at your reality, to get a very clear picture of what you want, to feel that feeling in your heart as if you were surrounded already by what you wanted, and then to evoke that in certain periods of the day and get so good at it like an athlete where you can simply train in on that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa. If you find our videos of value, please subscribe and like because the only way we can get this message out is if uh, our viewers subscribe, like, and share these videos with others. And we are going to be making a few more videos this weekend. So until very soon, this is Javier with great love, with great appreciation. I will see you guys very soon.